Good evening, Johnny Gemma. Wa'an, Lao Shi He, Xie Shang. Wa'kilimu, Manafunzi. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Dr. Martin Luther King Day, that is, Junior. Now, welcome to another fun-filled episode of How To Food. In today's episode, we are going to cover a technique that I honestly should have covered months ago in the early, early on when I first started doing this, but better late than never. Today's technique is the ridge hand. Now, why is the ridge hand an important move? Seems like kind of, you know, just a basic strike with your fist, a basic punch, whatever, almost a slap, if you will. And this is how it goes, you know? It's almost like a hook. So same motion, you're coming around, but instead of hitting like this with a hook, you're coming around like so. So same motion. And you can see, if you look at my legs, you know, if you look at my legs, you can see how I'm pushing from the back, pushing from the back, and generating power that way. And you can see, my elbow lines up with my knee, so I can get even more power, and I'm creating a whip motion. Now, I first learned this technique from Grandmaster Lee down in Dallas, Texas, from White Leopard, these White Leopard Kung Fu and Tai Chi, years ago, over a decade ago. And I first learned it in the Mai Zhang Lawhorn, the Northern Shaolin style. And with that, this move can be best applied, well, one way you can apply it as a way of covering ground really fast. So if you were a long distance fighter, let's, let's say this is the bag is my opponent, right? And I'm out here, you know, most fights, we bow in, right, at a tournament. You want to get there first. This is a get there first move, like the jab. So I have a side profile as opposed to an open profile, though you could do that with this move, but we'll start with the side profile. So close stance, come in, sink, Dash, right? So this is a good move for getting there first. And you could, it, it's also a good move because it is a great pathway to combos. Just like the jab. So, you come in, you can retreat with the jab. You can come in, high look. You come in, reverse punch, right? It's also, for those of you who are a fan of the animal style, it's a good pathway to snake. So if I, I'm, I'm coming in, I'm like boom, 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 right? So rich hand, come in, stay, try elbow. There's many moves you can do from it. It's also a good move if you do Tai Chi for push hands. It's essentially a horizontal single arm circle. So like so, I'm on the bag. See what my legs are doing? And my stomach. Down to the end. You can feel all the energies, so. You see this move a lot in Tai Chi. It's good because if you're doing this at Close, at close quarters, if you're an infighter, you can move your opponent's hands out of the way and go in for a, a technique like, okay, you can push, right? You can roll with it, you can roll with it, roll with it, and elbow. It rolls into an elbow and a strike. So it's really good for infights. Also, it's a good way to start grappling. So you weave in, like so, you're grappling. Also go in for a clinch, 
and start me. It's a, it's a great way. It basically what you can call the rich hand is essentially one of, if not the best, bridging techniques in all of martial arts. So I highly suggest you practice this move because it's, it's, it, op it opens up so many pathways. It's like to, to taking down your opponent. In fact, if you work in law enforcement, shout out to my boy Tony Sanchez. This one is excellent. You know, hey, 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 you trying to subdue an assailant, right? Go in, slap them real quick, and then go in for a takedown. Right? So, learn your rich hand. You're on your back foot, push off your back foot. Come around, circle. Boom, boom. So, like so. You start on your back foot, push off your back foot, turn your waist in a wide circle. Or almost look like a jab, a quick jab, but it's not a jab. You're coming from the side. Side. Good way to get a lot of dirty techniques in. And even if you don't want to use a rich hand, you can use your thumb and be really nasty. This is called the boku shin. So if you are locked in with somebody, you can roll with it and it's Hit them with your thumb in the neck. I highly suggest you condition your thumbs and the rest of your fingers and your hands. For strikes in general, but for this one especially. It's a good way to stun your opponent, hit him in the neck, hit him in the temple, hit him in the eye. Ridge hand is a devastatingly good technique to learn. I cannot stress this enough. So with that said, practice hard, my friends. Be water, be tough. Self-cultivate, Turtle Sage signing out. Like, share, and subscribe, and ring that bell if you like what you saw.